Let me just explain why I like this paracord on the left, the green stuff. I use a ton of paracord on the job and not all paracords are created equally. All right, this stuff has a really good, first of all, feel to it. It is a 500 pound paracord. So do not think that means, hey, I don't weigh 500 pounds. I'm gonna use it as my climbing rope. Someone who's 200 pounds, if you shock load this stuff, you're gonna break it. Like it is not life support. But the important thing about a paracord is getting up inside it and seeing how it's made. And this has a stranded interior. First thing I did when I bought this stuff was open it up and it's got a stranded interior. That is a quality paracord. Some of these paracords these days, you buy them and they have just unstranded, untwisted, just, just fluffy fiber on the inside. And that's really not the way you wanna make a rope. You can see each one of these individual strands is comprised of its own twisted fiber. So this is a two ply, it's called. This is two individual fibers run together, twisted together in order to develop the strength. The strength compounds on a paracord like this and that's really what you want in a cord. That's why I'm saying this stuff is actually made to be quality paracord. They didn't cheap out just to make a buck. It's also a paracord that melts really well. If I'm cutting it just to make something or fashion something, I find that it melts well and is easy to clean up so some paracords will just kind of burn. They'll like burn and fizzle. Whereas this guy gives a good melt, which means the ends are not gonna fray. Uh, this stuff is from Tough Grid. Uh, made in the USA, 550 pounds. I think I said it was 500 pounds. And I tend to just keep it in a spool, just a bundle like this. You can put this on an actual spool if you want to. There's a lot of different ways to store your paracord. If you are looking for a decent paracord, it will fit in with the rest of your ropes. It's definitely quality stuff.